a bruschetta. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm at the Calisthenics Park with a few friends of mine and we're going to be doing a pool workout. I got a special guest I want to show you guys. He is right here. Yo, to the people, bro. what's poppin'? It's your man's KP, the specimen. I'm in here. I'm out here with my man's Austin Dunham. We about to get nasty with this workout. Let's get it, baby. Man, this dude is super talented when it comes to the handstands, crazy strength, crazy skills. You guys are going to see. Then also on the cut, we got Chad. Say what's, Yo, what's up, up, what's up, what's up. Guys, you already know what it is. Super yeah. Chad Fitness here. Um, <laughs> about to crush it today, guys. Let's get it, let's get Let's it. Get it. And we got Steven. Yo, what's up, guys? What's Steven up, what's here. Up. Alright, so just stay tuned. I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but we're Ooh. gonna have a good time, man. The last time I ever counted, I broke 20 seconds. I was like a 26. To me, it's easy. It's gotta yeah. use bands, bro. Like, I'm, I'm sitting there going left and right, nigga. I just put the bands on and do the same shit. Just, just hold it. Just do it. Yeah, always like move your legs and shit. In and out. Like, I always tell niggas to start off with this shit right here. I'm trying to raise up into that tuck. And as you get stronger, you can just go all the way out. You can just hold. You just go like this. You can just rattle. You can do half leg. I learned mine's from, um, what is it called? When you start from the top? Negatives. negatives yeah. Yeah, the yeah. negatives, negatives, hell yeah. yeah. That's how you really get it. Because if you can come down slower and slower and slower, after a while, you'll be like, whoop. But make sure you record yourself. You have to record yourself. Because mm -hmm. you may feel straight, but just just way up like yeah. this. So, always. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> And I like this shit because it's, like it's like a fake front lever. Yeah. And you can just be up here all day. Does it feel easier? Hell yeah. Number one? You're like, it's like one arm handstand. You're trying to lean to the side yeah. and put your weight on that There's side and just go this way. Mm -hmm. Hella fucking lats and obliques. I'm fucking with it. Oof. There you go. <laughs> you try that one arm? And one arm negative? <laughs> yeah, that's how right. I usually go. I'll go here and then I'll come one arm, but then I'll tuck down. There you go. Here, just take fingers away. There you go. And then shift that weight to one side. Pointed toes. Woo! The legs activate. So you gotta do it. You gonna just raise them over your arms. There you go, there you go, there you go. Yep, and that's how you build volume. It's a drop set. Yeah. I had to stretch them out and it fits my lineup. Let's go, KB. What's your favorite skill when it comes to pushing and pulling? I love, I love plants for sales, man. Planch? Like, you gotta be able to lift your whole body weight. You can do reps all day from the chest, but once you're down here, that's where the real power is at. Same with the front lever, like, just being able to hold your shit out like that and you pull into the waist, nigga, that's, that's elite to me. Like, why wouldn't you want that? It's your own body. Mm -hmm. You can sure. have it when there's no equipment around and just flex on people. Why sure. not? Nice. Oh shit. Yeah. One arm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. That's hard, y'all. I told you for me it's grip oh, yeah. strength. If Where? I don't have grip strength, I can't do it. That's super hard. Your whole arm is one one arm and your Jeez. horizontal. Oh yeah. That's nav back strength. And then you gotta retract yeah. too, nigga. That's that's crazy. It's only if I got if I got chalk on, I'm like, that's my secret sauce. I would, <laughs> I, would, I, would I would do the I would start from the inverted and then go sideways with it. Yeah. That's the way I started is I would go from up top. People are like, why you start from up top? Because I'm gonna do raises in one arm, I'm gonna start walking in one arm, I'm gonna really start yeah, going. And then try to turn out a little. There you go. Oh, 
that's my goal. I think I've seen a stripper do that before. <laughs> On the pole? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's how you gotta give it up. Superhuman strippers, bro. <laughs> That's mad scapular strength. Yeah. <laughs> if your shit is weak, you're, you would have been broke Snap that shit. Mm-hmm. That's Snap City, son. Hair City right there. Word. Ooh. Never tried that. <laughs> oh my god. Those are really high. I'm not trying that one. <laughs> oh shit. That's I'm how I got trying. into one arm front lever and back lever. Yeah, that's I was dope. like, learn one arm skin the cats. <laughs> Why yeah, not? Yeah. But you can start here where you grab something and just go here. Yeah. Or even grab outside, wherever you feel most comfortable. You come here. See, my left arm is my weak arm, but I can still get the rotation. But I can feel that I'm not pulling down hard enough. And when I get to here, I'm a little sketched because I'm unsure about my grip strength. Yeah, but so eventually, I'll get there. Back. Are you the sister rows? Can I come up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, that's your shit. I yeah. love those. They're so fun. Yo, that's going to super cook this. Woo! Grab my order for that one. That, that's, like the, that's like a 90 degree push up, but you're pulling. Yeah, basically the opposite. Yeah, the 90 degree pull up. Go. <laughs> <laughs> can help you with your pull because if you're strong enough to if you're strong enough holding it you can pull and then drop and catch yourself in the middle yeah. it's like a fucking 90 degree push-up you go down and you push from the bottom yeah fuck with that shit. I also think it's like ice cream makers a little bit mm -hmm. like you're getting a little bit of a boost true yep. yeah nice and you can do it in the tuck too like, I think I can only get like one rep, like pulling to my hips. Yeah. Like maybe one hip touch, but like after a strict that, front lever. Yeah. yeah. Like, like one. Oh, but I'm false gripping though. I don't false know if grip, I can. Yeah. I don't know if I can do it. I'm, like I'm, no I'm false grip. Classic, <laughs> with it. classic with it. I just keep my thumb over the bar and pull. Like I feel like it's only a good like front lever pull up. If you can hold, like you pull up to front lever one, yeah. two, hold it for two uh -huh. seconds to make sure there's no thing. Right. Ha! Mm -hmm. That's hard, bro. I only see when Russian cats doing that. I need some certain width because then it would work. I'm not used to this, bro. There you go. Yeah, I've never used a band that smart though. Because how in the hell else are you going to do it? How? Progression. And even then, it's sometimes it's still too hard. Yeah. And you can't get no volume. And once you're done, you're done. And you can experiment with combos. You can go left to right. You can go side to side. Like that's mm -hmm. why I use the bands. Certain shit is unreachable. Yeah. Without the bands. Yeah. And this, this is the bottom portion, but once I get I get past oh, yeah, the band, yeah. the top it gets harder. Like you got two options. Option A is the same thing that he was doing, but I would say, like, yes. put your belly on there first, perfect. and oh, then you. grab here. Or now the band's snugging on you. Now it's snug. Mm -hmm. Or you can do it the other way, where you go like this, and you loop the band in one side. Well, loop the band in one side like this. Oh yeah. Then do it around your back, and then all you have to really worry about is one hand. But that's just dependent on the person, whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. Like either way is all right. You'll still get good reps. Like here, it's mad easy now. So basically, loop the band as close to the bar as possible. Yeah. yeah. So that way you get help assist during the whole entire motion. Yeah. Before, you're only going to help at the bottom. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah makes sense. Because there was no, there was no um, tension on the band in the mm -hmm. top portion. Oh, you holding it up there? Okay. And okay. Even Paul's rep be frying. Okay. Too. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. And just hold that. Oh shit! Let's you go. The, <laughs> the endurance.
Gotta save for a set of uh, one arm pull ups, man. One arm oh pull ups? One arm pull ups next. Oh. <laughs> or chin ups. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably do it right here. That's about assist it. it. Right? Assist it, right? Yeah, no, we no. Do, I'll do a one assist finger. Assist it, whatever. <laughs> Endurance pull ups? Rose. Pull -ups. You wanna do rose to fail? We just do rose. Uh, I'm yeah, done yeah, with but rose. I'm saying. I'm done with rose. I'm done with rose. <laughs> I'm done with rose. <laughs> we gotta do the waistlines like this. Pull to the waist. And your, like upper, the ultimate drop set. And, your, and your upper back is getting nasty, or you get to do your touch. Just keep going. Yeah. Nigga. That's a lot of volume right there. That's hella reps. Mm -hmm. And your upper back, that's how you get that yoke shit, nigga. <laughs> you have a nasty track. I'll hit a sec. I'll hit a sec. Just yeah. keep your line straight. Just like front lever. <sighs> get it. Because this is shit niggas don't do. We got to do shit we not do. It's strong. Do you follow a system when it comes to how many sets you do per exercise or you just do whatever feels right? Do whatever feels right. I'm, 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 I'm intuitive with my shit. Just listen to your body. Like certain shit you're not going to be able to do every single day. So doing shit like that, if you tie it from front lever, you could do that shit for just waistlines. Mm -hmm. Decline. Like for me, I'll stick to like four or five sets. Yeah, five something. is always optimal for everybody. Mm -hmm. this, this, you can do this shit to failure. Change your grip. Nigga, I'm about to hit the bias next. Wide. Ooh, yeah, I know his back is on fire. Mm -hmm. But see, look where he's pulling his ab. That's where you want to pull. Whew. And even holding that position, nigga, your upper back is going to be fried. I can't lie. Not doing that at first before, it was a little weird. I had to get like and the back of my thighs. And even doing it like that's cool. For there people who don't have, who have no, no volume, there you go. Come on. Yeah. Hold it, hold it, hold it. There you go. Sure. I would suggest get mobile because i use my mobility to my advantage to, like you said yeah. to just get that easy stop yo, you, yo, you're and nigga i'm just like this all day just like flexing and niggas is like how you doing i think i'm flexible mm -hmm. get I'm flexible <laughs> get mobile hips nigga all them leg drills we did you could do them shits i feel like what do you call it your straddle it just distributes that weight oh, over a wider yeah. range yep. and like the way you can almost lean to one side like you can almost see it you almost got this foot on the ground but the other leg is so far on the other side yeah. it's pulling so it's like you got that good counterbalance bro yep. like mobility mm -hmm. is such a crazy part because when i do one arms i look at his i'm wasting fucking energy trying to get into and the position more strength, and yeah. more strength yeah but he's more mobile so he can keep that line that weight distribution it's yeah. like I'm torquing mines. He's yeah. holding his. And that's what I've learned. It's like we got to, like I said, it's not strength. It's more of a technique and like mind muscle thing. Like what is your shit doing? And you don't have to, you don't have to be a brute for handstands. Like, yeah. You just got to sit there and fuck around with it. But that, I think that's the weakest point in all guys though is the hip mobility. Yep. Like, and the got, shoulder mobility. And the shoulder mobility. Yeah. Grab the ball right here. And you're working on your hip mobility doing that. And I was like, how did I not fucking think about that? Just go there. But even the body awareness, like where his feet is at, and like how. Yeah, that's what you were showing me to do. I was like, why haven't I been doing that? See? You just gotta mess with it. Mm -hmm. Like, I used to do that, was one of my favorite drills. When I couldn't hold it, just grab something and make sure you shift your shit. Cause sometimes you can be on one hand, but your weight's not all the way on that side because you got this assistance over here. So you just gotta make sure you get that lean in. You'll be all right. Sure. All right, ready for the one on pull ups? Oh my god. We, we can try one set. Just I'm one gonna set. do, yeah, I'm gonna do, matter of fact, I'm gonna do it right here. Let's see how we feel. Are you gonna do an L set? See if I could get one. Right, ready? Ready. Oof. That look easy, man. And I'm L set chin ups. I think you should try those. I'll try. Because it's different. Lay words. Go. Yeah! Light work. Eat that. Light work. Mm. Money. Mm. It's all right. Come on, come on. Up, 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 up,
Guys, that was tough. That was tough. I like that. I though. just beat. I was just being like that, bro, because I know how stressful that shit is. Uh -huh. I keep one arm on the low, because I don't. I don't train them at mm. all. Like, it's just so taxing. I know niggas that do like they. So I know. I think I seen a nigga do like five, six, seven, eight on each arm. I'm like. So when it comes to your vertical pulls, what's your go-to then? Like a weighted pull-up? Yeah, or? I like high L-sit pull-ups. Always do L-sit pull-ups because your L-sit pull-ups is get you ready for your front lever. Because if you look at an L-sit, it's already half of a front lever. You're just not mm -hmm. flat with the back. But just, bro, just... And then, if anything, I can show you after that how to train your one-arms. You can take fingers away or you just do your negatives. Yeah, I learned. I, I did learn with the band. That's yeah. one thing I, I learned with the band. I, I treat it like one-arm handstand because hand, handstand's vertical pulling pull-ups is vertical so if mm. you're just taking away fingers this hand or the other hand has to work harder it has to because you're giving it no choice true so i'm like that'll get it too Let the people know how long have you been uh, training? Cause been training for about four years. Um, I started in June 2018. I had a pull-up bar and some dumbbells. I didn't want to do not nothing. I got tired of doing nothing, so I was like, I just want to get strong, get working out. You know, I wasn't concerned with the aesthetics. Just get strong, like just just get strong as fuck. That was me too. My and first like two three years. Yeah, yeah, just didn't stop and just kept going. Like I tell niggas, it's it ain't no spark, bro. You just gotta want this shit. Do you wanna be weak or you wanna be strong? Like, I wanna be a god. I wanna reach the highest level of strength and just keep going. Look at Goku and Vegeta. Them niggas are still gods and they're still getting stronger. There's no end, you're limitless. Just, just get after it. How long do you say you work out each each day whenever you do do a workout? Like, it just depends. Like, sometimes I'll be in the gym three, four hours, bro. Like, I yeah. just, I really enjoy the aspect of just getting strong. Like, you can do handstands for an hour, all right? You can do, you know, plants for an hour. Like, there's many different things to tackle. You can train your reps. It's whatever you want. Like, just pick whatever skills you want and just go hard. Like, you can have your own style. You don't mm -hmm. have to do what I'm doing. You don't have to planch. I know people that beast at handstands, but they don't do all this other the shit. Other so stuff, it's like, yeah. it's whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy your training. Yeah, you're, but you're trying to be a beast at everything. Yeah, because to me, that's the those are the best athletes. Mm -hmm. When you have all, all types of skills, look at LeBron James. What can't he do? He can do everything, and that's what I'm looking at. I just want to be that guy. Back when I would um, do my status skills, stretching, mobility, working out, my workouts would take about three and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. three is solid. Three and a half hours, yeah. yeah. Or you could do like an hour of weights, mm -hmm. and then go do your calisthenics, or you do your calisthenics first, then go live. I do my shit first, and then I, I go I suggest people do their calisthenics first, too. Yeah, because yeah. calisthenics is your body weight. It's, it's mm -hmm. like, why wouldn't you want to master your body weight and then touch the weights? I see dudes benching three, 400, no push-ups, can't do no pull-ups. I'm like, come on, bro, that's... It's strength, but you're not lifting your own weight. I want to mm -hmm. lift my own too. Absolutely. Easier on the yeah, biceps. The, oh yeah. Oh. Woof. Eating them. Oh. I haven't done these on, on, on these in a minute. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm Come on. Okay. Go. Okay. All right. The neutral grip negative is hard. Oof, let me see these neutrals. I ain't doing neutral in a minute. There yeah, that's that was mm -hmm. hard as shit. Hell yeah, all the pull, way. Pull, up pull, pull. <sighs> I'm gonna just finish with some negative. Yeah. <laughs> I would say supplement your shit like shit like that. Supplement bicep curls, hammer grip curls, and pronated. Cause bro, that shit's brutal. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do a lot of reps of those. That shit is like, if you're not careful, you're going to get hella tendonitis and the stress on the bicep Might even strain the bicep tear your muscle. shit. Yeah. It's stressful. Like, we're not really supposed to be doing one-arm pull-ups, but if you want to be dumb strong, this is what you got to do. Now, speaking about supplementing weightlifting exercises, have you always done that ever since you started? Or did mm, you? Not really. In the beginning, I would do both. But I got bored with the weights because I wanted to focus on skill. Mm -hmm. But as I got more proficient with the skills, I'm like, 
I want to go back to lifting weights because I miss the, the feeling of lifting. You know, you're just strong. You're picking shit up and putting it down. But it helps you sculpt your body and make your muscles bigger. You're adding mass to the muscles you need for your skills and shit. So that's why it won't be that stressful if you're adding all that shit in that set. True, yeah. I fuck with it. Alright guys, we're going to end the workout off showing his beast one arm handstands. Let's get it. Add it up. There you go. Nice. Sick man. The B-boy. One arm okay, pops. <laughs> Let's go. That's crazy bro.